Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays, The Secret World. Uh, I'm right where I left off as far as level. I haven't done anything uh, special. What I've done is I've moved back to Kingsmith Town, and I have just this one last uh, main mission type of quest that I wanted to do before I actually went over into the Savage Coast. So I'm back at the airport uh, because in the last episode... Uh, I saw there was some, uh, whenever I was looking for the right clues for the dawnless, dawn of the endless night, um, that there was a main quest right here and an investigation. So uh, the plan is here today is to do these missions and then after this we'll be moving on to the Savage Coast. So uh, let's talk to Ellis Hill and see what he has to say. Who the hell goes there? Identify <laughs> yourself. Goddamn. Thought you might be one of them. You better be more careful. Accidents can happen when you sneak up on a man. Yeah. Put it there. Uh, I understand perfectly. Man's got a guard his handshake. Gives away a lot of a person's soul. I'm not talking about that palm reading shit. <laughs> Shake a man's hand, you get a sense of his worth. Past and present. See the wear on these? Metal working hands. Fixing things up. A little Break square. Up. Real slow. No secrets. All in plain sight. More than you can say for this island. You got the back and the stomach for digging deep. All manner of shit comes out. <laughs> but nothing I haven't seen the likes of in my line of work. What, fixing You're planes? There's nothing dangerous about what I do. You'd be wrong. I can tell you all about what people try to hide behind a coat of white paint. <laughs> Generators been acting up, which is fine during the day, but at night, they get bolder when the lights are out. The they, they get bolder. My aim gets worse. It makes it hard to tell friend from foe. <laughs> I think it's in everybody's best interest if those runway lights stay on. Yeah, probably. I'm still loving all of the dialogues in this, all of the storylines. I, I tell you, I I enjoy making these videos so much just because there's so much story going on, uh, and it's always so good. Let's see, there's a walker out there. All right, so we need to examine the blueprints that are on the wall here. Okay, so uh, we're looking for the breakers. Uh, oh, my. So we're going to have to uh, go over here and over here for whatever these actually signify. Oh, this is the runway. You see? Here's the uh, runway, and there's a box there and a box there, box there, box there. So we're going to have to uh, check the wiring in passage one. And um, you can see it's got it already highlighted for us so uh, that, that's gonna make it a lot easier so nothing much want to do except <laughs> except avoid these bear traps uh, all right get out of this and I'll be back so you can see I'm uh, right over the spot where the generator would actually be uh, but to get there we need to go down below here and uh, you probably don't want to go into electrical water so let's see if, like that because <laughs> uh, I'm such a noob let's see if I can ah that's great even better what's this no nope. so I'm gonna have to jump across ah damn it ah Oh, and I wasn't recording, but I was able to turn that off very easily once I uh, once I was dead, came back. This one looks like it's guarded by some uh, mobs. Let me get to that. Let's see what he has. Oh, yeah. Never been a fan of these guys since I started, but they're always 
very hard to kill. They're not gonna be ready to get change up weapons away from my shotgun. So I'm gonna use that one. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. All right, and on to the next. All right, so made it down into the next area. This one looks like it's got this film over it. I wonder if I can actually see how there's like a blue area in between there. I wonder if I can get down in here and not get acid on me or something. Oh, see there, I got poisoned. So you kind of want to <laughs> another death. So I'm probably just showing you how not to do it, right? That's that's how to do it. <laughs> so we'll resurrect here and repair these damaged wires. Um, maybe. There we go. All right. Does that remove the green? No. Shoot. So I need to get to the next area. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to do that easily. Oh, maybe if I had had... I'm going to die, aren't I? Yep. Oh god, don't, please don't. Whew. Okay. <laughs> uh, I bet this is the area right here. No, it's on the other side of that wall. Okay, yeah, next area down. Um, hmm. Looks like I can just run up to it. That seems a bit odd considering what we've had to deal with so far. I bet there's a surprise. There, we've done all the passages. Now we need to go to the generator room, uh, which is down at the end of this. Oh, there's somebody blocking my way now. But if I, ooh, takes us out. I didn't know that was there. I probably don't want to do that. Uh, so let me find the generator room. Okay, so I can see here, uh, it looks like it's pretty plain. It's right here, but how do we get down in there? I remember doing this a long time ago, whenever I was actually playing it for the first time, but I don't remember. That's the anima well. I wonder how... Oh, look. There is an outside there, so I bet I need to go back down... Uh, go out and then come back through. So let me try that. All right, running along and they're definitely making us work for it. Oh, I had somebody buff me up. Thank you, buddy. And go through the lines back here. There we go. Wow, look at this. Look at me figuring it all out on my own. <laughs> uh oh. And. Here we are, made it to the generator room and destroy the circuit breaker. But, oh my, look at that guy. Oh, that is the circuit breaker. <laughs> oh, look at him. An eagle. No, oh, couldn't dodge fast enough. Oh no, come on, get out of here. Holy cow, this guy's not that easy, is he? does the same pattern that I need to get away. Oh, this is like the ones at the uh, Edward's Scrapyard. There we go. Very good. So let me send that report. I would love to shine a giant floodlight on the Kingsmith. However, until we get that tech, you'll just need to clarify things on things one fuse box and generator at a time. As for Ellis Hillop, we ran into Chuck and seems he's new in town. He took a job at the airport in a short time before the island started swallowing itself. I'm not saying not to trust him. I'm saying not to trust anyone. They sure as hell don't trust you. Ciao, ciao. All right, click that. Here's a um, side quest. There's something about Ellis Hill. Let's see. Let's uh, let's do this. It might be pretty good. Uh, 
So we need to investigate clues near Ellis Hill. So let me get back up there and do that. All right, so I've made it back into the uh, shop here. I see a dirty shovel, but I don't think that's the clue. I see some gasoline cans. Those probably aren't the clue. I wonder if I go up the stairs what the clue would be. No clue, but there's some more. Mm, I don't see any clues. Unless, maybe, maybe the dirty shovel is a clue. I did. So, now I need to follow dirt tracks. Okay. Oh, I see. There's dirt tracks right there. See them on the ground? I'm going to follow those. Don't want to get into the bear trap again. Oh, here. Examine the GPS device. Oh, look at that. So he's obviously done something over here by the skate park. I can't actually use this GPS thing, but it's obvious he came from the skate park. Or the bike track. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, let me go run over there. Okay, so this isn't the skate park. There's actually a bike track here or something going on. I'm looking for something around here. and I'm not for sure exactly what it would be. Um, hmm. You can see how they've got these bumpers and stuff set up. So it's actually a dirt track. Oh, I see, yeah. But I'm looking for some kind of clue. Ho oh, ho, looky there, what is that? Dead airport mechanic. Aha. Uh -huh. That guy is not Ellis Hill, is it? He's not a good man. What's that say? So, who's the new airport mechanic? The Templars don't really do role-playing as far as the dragon. As for the dragon, I really see that uh, it all seems too coherent for them. There's more likely a pose as a ceiling fan. <laughs> Smart money's on the oh, Phoenicians. I would explain signals, uh, signals fake Ellis transmission out sea. He's familiar with the drog. Carthage is always in it for the money. We could probably buy intel about the fog and other sea-related nightmare, but we'd rather you figure out things on your own. It saves us haggling over price and removing the inevitable knife in your back. Ciao, ciao. Always ciao, ciao. But, hey, there's some well, some advancement points. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned in some previous episodes, I am working toward getting my... Uh, starter commando deck uh, which is a an assault wife rifle and shotgun build um, you know not that these are optimal builds but they're good start builds and they give me some outfits and all that kind of stuff so I've already got everything I need there um, as you can see I kind of went down the wrong path on the fist there but I uh, got this one and I need a seven points into experience and seven points into slow the advance uh, so I'm going to do the experience one, which is increasing the effectiveness of leech. I'm going to do that and buy it. So now I just need one more, and I should have it. All right, so I've run back to the murderer. And uh, <laughs> we've got one quest left here, which is the investigation mission called Dead Air. So let's see what Ellis has to say now. Junk. We got business to be getting on with you and I. <laughs> no, you came in quiet. Shit. My senses are getting dulled in here. Got used to the creeps outside. They don't have a light touch. <laughs> and neither do I. Cracking deadheads keeps my swing in shape and the cabin fever at bay. Man gotta be comfortable with scan company. He's got the crazy eyes. He's to himself. Let's say. You come from town. Any reception out there? 
Police, CB. Shit, even an LPFM gospel channel, I ain't choosing. Nah, just dead air. Not even the score from the Red Sox game. This place is off the radar. <laughs> so here I am, sitting with my thumb up my ass, tuning static. Like I said, what was that? Air. Don't waste your time out of the mast. Ain't the kind of equipment you can patch up with duct tape and a wire hanger. No, you just keep on with whatever you got to do. Elsewhere. Wow. He really is a bad man. So we need to locate the radio mast, uh, which I believe is right over here. Yeah, that definitely looks like it. So let me get up that ladder. Can I jump up there? Come on. Let me jump up there. Oh, there. Finally got up on it. So examine this. Okay. Examine the serial number. Oh, there's a serial plate right there. Serial number 388-1999. Okay. Work high group. Okay. Source the components to repair the mast. Hmm. Okay. Shows it. That's right over here. Oh, I see. There's got some parts down here. All right. Is there others? Oh, yeah. A wire hanger. <laughs> Which is what he said don't bother with. Wire hanger. Is there some duct tape? <laughs> Handheld radio. Battery. Battery. There's something else inside of here, maybe. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. I got duct tape. Yeah, just like I thought there would be. Handheld radio. Oh no, I'm out of space. Oh, it's not telling me I'm out of inventory. It's just saying that I've already got my limit on whatever those are. Uh, so I just need to source the right things. Here's like a battery. I've already done that. Uh, soda can. Already. Did I do that? Fuel can. Hmm. Oh wait, there's more up here. Vacuum tube. Probably need that. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's because I did run out of space, isn't it? So I think I've got all of the parts. I don't know. I'm going to go back up there and uh, see if I can fix it with these. Because I, I don't think it's actually going to tell me. Okay, and I spec the mast. There. I did. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't need to... I had a feeling I... And that's probably the way you're supposed to do it is to actually go to that Orkai website and then look up that part number and all that. So uh, now I need to listen to the transmissions and. Uh, oh. oh. What is this? Decipher the. What? Oh, hell no. I'm not. I'm not going to do Morse code. <laughs> so let me look this up. Okay, interesting tidbit. Apparently there's some apps that will uh, listen, like some iPhone apps or Android apps, that you can actually have it listen to Morse code and it'll tell you what it says. Uh, still didn't do that. I'm just looking up the answer, which says drop location 712-536. Uh, so just need to go there now and uh, see, see, see what happens. So if you look in the bottom left-hand corner right down there, you can see the actual coordinates. You kind of have to hover around till you get the exact one, but you can see I'm pretty close to that 713537. It was 712536, but either way, we can see that it's right here. Uh, so I'm going to go and travel to that area and see what happens. Okay, approaching the area now. It's in this little pooled area. Oh, what the heck? Hey, whoa, hey, 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 hey. I'm one of the good guys, kinda. 
these are mercenaries. Are they Illuminati mercenaries? Because that looks like the Illuminati uh, outfit, doesn't it? Now, open the crate. That's a big crate. Whoa. Whoa! Hey, now! Oh, crap. It's a quarantined beast. Yeah, I'd say so. Looks like I might survive. Boom. Wow. That was uh, unexpected and crazy. So I'll send the report on that. There we go. Nice work, MacGyver. Now I know who I can call if my cable goes out. Oh, that reminds me. Don't ever maintenance in the labyrinth and don't ever get in their way. Yes, there's fixers, but we're not talking cranking the AC, more fixing humans' problems. Speaking of human problems, if anyone's going to screw things up on this island, I want it to be in, be in anyone accountable with our organization. Wild elements are dragon's thing. I bet they're knocking back the sake right now. But the next time, there will be a next time you run into these guys, extreme presidents. Prejudice. All right, so that gave me even more AP. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and knock this out. Cell panel. And buy that. Ha 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 ha. Slow and advanced. Okay. And that gives me the outfit claim reward. So now I've got the so I can equip this deck, I think. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, it did. Look, so now I've got all of this, which means I need to equip my assault rifle whenever I get to it. And, um, nope, not B. Not that, not that, not that either. Here we go. Inventory. Uh, I'm not sure how to... Dressing room, and I should be able to do chest, and, oh no, it's not chest, I go, there's a uniform slot, go down here, and now I have commando, so now I can look like I am a commando. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, this will be the last episode in Kingsmith, unless for some reason the quest line brings us back here. And the next time we'll be heading to the uh, Savage Coast and doing a lot more exploring there. Starting to get to the points where I don't know what's going on at all. Uh, so it's very exciting. Um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and leave any comments that you have. Uh, you want to see me, you know, talk about how I've messed up, which seems to be fun. Uh, go ahead and do that. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, they really mean a lot to me and I check out your channel and see what's going on. Uh, and they just help the channel along a lot. So uh, you want to be make sure you do that. That way you can be apprised of all the videos that are coming out. I've got more games. I've got tons of MMOs coming. More Secret World. So you want to make sure you're subscribed where you can watch these. So till next time. Bye.